what's my rule on too high everyone as long as you have good risk management right it's a now, scout that's right now look one two three four five it pulled back on the fifth and now in the sixth candle right but why worry about going you can get back in it as long as you have good risk management space so i should wait till it gets lower or no wait for the pullback okay yeah or if it makes new high right okay you have two choices don't you i guess so <laughs> guess so and don't money. enter the trade if you don't know don't enter the trade right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna because i don't know <laughs> i made 80 dollars on it so i'm good right now <laughs> nice job yeah because listen i told you the break of 537 that was a go right 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 that was a no-brainer so that took you to 560. yeah well, now i moved my stop and i still got stopped out even though i moved it up but it was tight so too tight too tight of a stop yeah. right yeah no look space right like right here it still looks good it's still staying up um so but if you're looking at a re-entry yeah just wait for a pullback see how this is coming back but i told you off of the fifth and sixth candles this is your pullback right okay so now you're gonna wait yep i'm gonna wait <laughs> and then you're gonna see what it wants to give us and then we'll go from there um because the other thing obviously all of you wait for the break of high of 560 and then have like a penny or two cent stop, right? Think about it. If you have a thousand, a uh, thousand, what is it? A thousand shares? Let me look. So a thousand, every penny is $10. So your risk is 20 bucks. Right. Two cents. Right. For two cents for the possibility for right to spy to run forever. I mean, it's always good. But again, you got to wait for the pullback. Wait to see what it's going to happen. Just like this. If this continues to pull back, I don't want nothing to do with it. Right? You've already made it's your pulling, money. Yep. Pull it back now. Yep. Yep. I don't want it if it's going to keep going down. Oh, no, yeah. Hell no. Not That's the mistake I always make. <laughs> yeah, no. Listen, and you're already up 80 bucks. So right. now we start looking for something else. Because space, until it breaks, five... 60. I don't even want to look at it again. So okay. here's what you're going to do on your screen, Christina. Uh, so right here, if I wanted to be alerted when space breaks 560, right, I would right click on my chart. Okay. Go to create alert. Uh -huh. and I would say price above 560. Save. Uh -huh. Now, as soon as this hits this mark, all my stuff's going to light up and tell me, hey, now's the time. <laughs> gotcha thank right? you thank you yep or if i said hey you know what i don't want to like right here i can move this right i can oh. move, you know what i can say instead of being 560 how about you alert me at 550 or uh 558 so that i have two pennies and now i'm getting ready oh that's saving okay. now i'm queued up the system will alert me hey you're getting close buddy come back check me out right let me try that. Yep. Thank you. Good. Welcome. Um, the other thing you guys can do, uh, especially with you large uh, larger accounts, a lot of times what I'll do is obviously make sure it's in your watch list. You can see it over here on my left. But what you could do is buy one share of this, and then it'll pop up in your positions, and you can keep an eye on it that way. Little pro tip for you, right? Here's your lesson for this. Uh -huh. This goes for everybody because everybody seems to think that once you hit, right, the the holy grail of above 25K because you can trade unlimited, <laughs> here is the rub, the part you don't hear about. Well, then you get into over trading and you end up blowing up your accounts. Right. <laughs> you should still be making three, right? Well, one to five trades per day. Quality good trades and still be sticking to that.